Sarah from Heirloom Creations in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. With the popularity of our Ruler of the Month last year, we've decided to do a sewing machine's foot of the month. So each month, we're going to highlight a specialty foot with its many uses. So many feet have multiple uses other than what its given name states. So for example, a cording and piping foot can be used to apply pearls, yarns, and decorative fibers. We're going to do two videos each month, one for Bernina feet and one for Husqvarna Viking feet. If you own other sewing machine brands, these feet are readily available for most sewing machines. We even stock a, a line of generic feet that often fit older sewing machines. Join me in the sewing studio as we check out some of these cool feet. Husqvarna Viking makes a variety of feet with tunnels and grooves to help with the cording and piping. I'm going to start off with a mini bead foot, four millimeters wide. That is the perfect size for covering cord that I often use on the edge of pillows. With that tunnel, we'll run the cord in with the bias fabric covering it and move the needle to the far right needle position. To attach the cord to the pillow, we'll use the same foot and the same needle position. For an extra lift, lift up the presser foot to its highest setting to slide it under the groove, and then go ahead and start to stitch. This I do in a three-part process. First covering the cord, then attaching it to one of the two pillow pieces. Now, to turn a corner, stitch up to your corner, and depending on your seam allowance you're using, you're gonna trim in about that same distance. I'm going to go and buy about a 5 8 seam allowance. Stitching right up to that clip and stopping with the needle in the down position. Then you can pivot the fabric and to help along is to take one extra stitch in the corner, kind of slightly diagonal, and then finish turning the corner. See how that foot's going to help track it, making it very easy to do. The final step of inserting your cording into your pillow, you're going to put your final piece on top of it. We're going to move the needle position back one or two spaces, depending on your machine. You know, that's going to actually cover up that line of stitching we used when we covered the cord and basted it onto our first pillow piece. Then, as we go ahead and stitch, even though we can't see the cord, that foot is going to track right along the bulkiness of the cording there. Come up to your corner. Once again, take an extra little stitch at the corner to help in the pivoting. And then just bring it on around, and you'll find it will just track right along the edge. To see how we've done, trim out the corner so that extra fabric is not there, and flip right side out. Because we have a nice bias edge that's going to cover everything that you need just perfectly. Along the same lines, Husqvarna Viking makes a line of piping feet. The original piping feet have a channel for a much smaller type of cord. With that, you can put it into a much smaller area, embellish quilts, or add it to where a flange would be and have more of a filler. This will allow the, the cord to track in these small smaller grooves here. The original one was a metal foot. They also make a clear version of the clear piping foot and there is also a mini clear piping foot. So your choices are depending on what type of finished result you're after you can get a foot to match what you're doing. So we're just going to stitch along here. The tiny groove underneath the clear foot is guiding my cord in there as I cover it once again with a bias fabric. Isn't that a dainty look? You know, you could put that on a curve or even a straight inset and the foot really makes the difference. And again, that's the clear piping foot. 
The next three feet that we're going to work with would help with stitching on pearls, a decorative trim, rat tail, or even strung rhinestones. This one here is a clear two to three millimeter embellishment foot. The mini bead foot four millimeters, that's the one we sewed the piping into the corner with. And this one is a max bead foot, which is six millimeters. And those are indicating how big their tunnels are. So for example, if we wanted to sew this pearl, these pearls on, this foot, is not big enough for this size. This one is actually just right, and this one's a little too big, a little too much play in it. So you really wanna find the right foot for the item you're stitching on. So as you go to your next item, you can set the foot on it and see which one's gonna fit the best, kind of like playing Goldilocks in the three feet. So this one would be the best suited foot because it tracks the cord the, the best. And to sew this decorative trim on, what was used was a little tiny zigzag with some clear thread, and that tunnel is big enough to accommodate the larger thickness. To set the machine to sew on some pearls, you want to measure your pearls and set the width to be at least that distance. Again, some clear thread has been put in the needle, so if we want to add these pearls along the edge, they would look like they're kind of floating along. The stitch length is also set, so you try to get at least one stitch per pearl, and then it really looks nice as you're stitching it down. As you want to turn or stitch into an area where they'll just look like they're floating on the fabric, that foot is going to just track anywhere you want to go. The six millimeter maxi bead foot is great for those thicker trims and items you're stitching down. Now the only thing is you can put it on both ways. So the proper way to put it on is with the front part. You'll, you'll see that they kind of tunnel together. That's where you're gonna feed in the cord or trim. And so that does need to be on the front side. So snap it in place. Again, we have some clear thread on the machine. A little tiny zigzag will work and you can just stitch that down and hold it in place. One of my favorite things to do with yarns is to embellish something that's kind of plain or when I have made a mistake, I'll use it to cover it up. So it's a great way to kind of look creative without doing a lot of work. This foot is the clear two to three millimeter embellishment foot. So the yarn is just gonna run right down the center tunnel, set the zigzag to be just wide enough to encase it. Sometimes I make it a little bit longer than what it originally sets up with on the machine. So it just kind of tacks down quickly as I sew. And the but we'll just track the yarn wherever I turn the fabric to go. This family of Husqvarna Viking feet are something that you would want to have in your sewing room. You never know when you need it, but when you have the right tool for the job, it makes all the difference in the world.